Diva and in today's video we are going to be touring this beautiful Cabco manufactured home. This unit is number 942. So, so, so pretty. I love the outside. I love the rustic feel on the shutters. I think this that I'm sold on the house already. I love the shutters. <laughs> so let's go on, go in and take a look at unit 942. Again, this is a Cabco. I've never toured Cabco homes before. So I'm so excited to be out here at Five Star Manufactured Homes. Beautiful. So I just entered and here's the living room. Really nice. Love the rustic feel. Let's go up and turn around and take a look at the living room. So pretty. Now, you could like this home and not like the rustic trim. I'll give you a close-up of it. You can order this home without it, okay? But I, I think that this is really pretty in here. It, it really goes well with the outside of the home. This has a ceiling fan in the living room. Vents are on the floor, you guys. You can call them and find out if you can put the vents in the ceiling. But I love it already. Love it, love it, love it. Second Capco home that I've been in. And so far I can see just how well put together they are. Now the living room overlooks the kitchen and dining room. So look, let's go have a look-see. This space would be your dining room area. Lots of space for a huge table. You've got a window here in the dining room. Can lighting in the ceiling. This home has black appliances, antique white uh, cabinets, nice size island. You can put two or three stools there. Pendant lighting over the island. Huge, huge window over the sink. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. Lots of cabinet space. Love the hardware on the cabinets. So pretty. You've got drawers everywhere that you've got cabinets, which is always nice to have lots of extra storage. Your island is a dark wood and the rest of the Cabinetry is an antique white. In this one, the cabinets don't go all the way to the ceiling. You've got space for decor, which I absolutely love being able to do. Um, it's add my special touches around the house. Love this huge window over the sink. This is so pretty. You've also got outlet space on the, on the uh, island, which is also a nice touch so that you can put an appliance there. My pressure cooker would be there cooking while I'm doing other things in the house. All right, so here's your utility room off the kitchen. Got your back door right there. Your washer and dryer would go in that space. You've got space in this little corner for maybe a bench. When my husband would come in from working, I would have a bench there that he could sit down and take those work boots off. So... Your water heater access is here along with um, your AC unit. Very nice. All right. And this utility room also has a door that closes. So if you have company and your laundry room is a mess, you can just close the door. I love this hole because you also have a bonus room. You have a den here, man cave, play area whatever you like. You've got space for your TV above the real fireplace. You've got um, shelving here, which I also love. You guys know every time there's space for, um, book, for the bookshelves, I always call it out because I love that. I would have books and decor and albums and all kinds of things there. You got three large windows in this room I think the beams are a nice touch. Again, if you like this home, but you don't like all the trim and beams, you can consider ordering the home without it. 
I love it. I love it. I think the fireplace and the trim and the beams all bring the look that I like together. I want to talk about this floor. Look at the large planks in this floor. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So many times you see the smaller planks, but this house has the larger ones. So we'll take a scan all the way around. A nice entertaining home because even in the kitchen, you can see what's going on in the living room. You can have guests or children at the island while you're cooking, in the family room, in the dining room, what have you. So really, really nice space here for all of your family's needs. Perfect. So off the family room, Off the family room here, this opening leads to your guest bedrooms. Straight ahead, you've got the guest bathroom. You've got your sink there with lots of counter space. Two cabinets on the bottom. Toilet, tub, toilet, tub and shower combo that has a transom window. Show you the window. to transom window right there, bringing in lots of light. Very nice. All right, to the left, you have a guest bedroom here. So in this home, I noticed that they got the um, thicker drywall out in the living room areas, but not in the bedrooms. Um, I'm pretty sure you could upgrade if you wanted the drywall throughout, but this is like a happy medium, you guys. You know, the um, you still got the 16, you still got um, your studs every 16 inches in here, so you can absolutely hang pictures and things. Then you've got the thicker drywall out in the open areas of the home. So see here, see the difference out here in the wall. And then in the bedrooms, you've got the seams, which I wouldn't mind. My whole house has seams um, and I have no issues at all. My house is well insulated. My light bill is low. I'm okay. This is guest bedroom number two. So these look up to be about equal size. Got your closet there. Guest bedroom number two. And again, let me show you. So off the den, you've got your guest bedrooms. Got your bathroom there and then a guest bedroom on either side. Awesome. Let's go take a look at the master. The master is off of the living room. Here is your master here. Looks to be about the size of my master. So it's a nice size master. I'll give you the whole scan of the room. Nice size master. Y'all, I'm still learning how to use this gimbal. Sometimes she get away from me. Here's your master closet. So when you come in, you've got two sinks here, lots of cabinet 
and shelving space. You've got two individual mirrors there. I took my mask off, put it in my pocket because I'm working alone. Um, you've got storage over the toilet there. Huge soaker tub with the window that opens. Love the wallpaper. Oh, and the shower is beautiful. Look at the stonework in the shower, you guys. You've got two benches in the shower, and you've got some beautiful, beautiful tile work in here. I love it. That is so pretty. Now, you don't have the rain shower, shower head, but you could absolutely request that when you order the house, and that's exactly what I would put in. I love the built-in soap dish and the footstools. You can put your feet up there and scrape them or whatever you need to do. And then you've got the master closet here and it has the shelving all the way around. Lots of space in here. You could put more shelving in here. You could put a bench in here to sit on. Just lots of space in there. Very nice. So that is the master bath. Wonderful. Let's go see how much this house costs. You got a living room. Down, you got a living room and den. Three bedroom, two bath. So this is the Cabco unit number 942. The model number is the MD35. This is a 32 by 62. This home is priced at $95,700. Base price includes delivery, setup materials, setup, block and tie down, central air conditioning, concrete block underpinning, and the concrete footers. So very good. Very, very good. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. If you like this home, all the information is down in the description box. This is Five Star Manufactured Home. They are in Bowden, Georgia. Bowden, Georgia. This is on the way to Birmingham. It's about 100 miles from Birmingham. Um, it's near Carrollton, Douglasville, out that way. Beautiful, beautiful homes out here. They sell cab codes which I've never toured, so I hope you guys are enjo enjoying these um, homes. And uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. That smile, Lord knows I ain't seen that in a while, but it's your style. So something must be up keeping you down. You a queen that must be heaven sent. Pray my soul, I must repent for not telling you what I meant and how I felt. Honestly, I'm used to throwing wishes in a well. My conscience tells me that I could have helped without fail. Actions speak louder than words, and that's a lesson that I learned.